slim fit to me is having a slim waist, big thighs and a big bum. That's what everyone focuses on now is the bum, isn't it? I would classify Cardi B as slim fit. Kylie Jenner or Kim Kardashian definitely pushed it quite a lot. I'm Al Tuvama and I'm a model and influencer. I'm doing okay, but to take my career to the next level, I feel like I need to get this slim thick look. I don't think it's just me. I feel like there's plenty of um, models and girls out there that feel that they need to change themselves due to what they're seeing on social media. There's a product out there that influencers claim make getting thick easy, but can it really be that simple? What is this product that these girls are taking, that these girls are saying is giving them hips and booties and thighs and maybe bigger breasts? What is it? I'll be giving you my review on the... A petalamin. A petalamin. A petalamin. I get so many questions all the time. Influencers all over the world are promoting a petalamin. I was one of them. All of you would not stop asking me this question. Alti, how did you gain weight? Alti, I see a bit of fives. Alto, you got a little breast there, it's growing. Alto, <laughs> and it's all because of this. I've tried it and even promoted it to my followers. Back then, I didn't do my research. I didn't know how it could really affect you, but I've heard some nasty rumors. There's a video going around of a girl in the US called Asha Grand. She vlogged about her pitamin experience. And so I wanted to do my story time, like what happened to me when I was taking a pitamin. Asha believes that pitamin made her really drowsy, and she even blacked out. She's lucky to be alive. So the side effects were pitamin, tiredness. You feel quite nauseous. I was just sleeping all the time. I was just completely knockout. It even hurt my eyes to be awake. I would jerk or shiver or shake or jump. Um, I was probably overdosing myself. I kept falling over and kept sort of tripping up. I collapsed down the stairs at home. A petamin is the devil. That's all I've got to say about this. Chi and Ed are personal trainers, and lately they've been getting a lot of questions about a petamin. As well as being really muscly, Ed is a pharmacist. Lots of our subscribers, they yeah. started telling us that um, they were using this drug called the Peter Men. The youngest person reached out to us, she was 12 years old. Wow. So I decided to research into it. Ed and Chi want people to know that Epitamin isn't the miracle fix influencers say it is. Far from it. So did you know it was illegal or... Um, illegal? Did you, yeah, did you know oh, it was wow. illegal? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess no. So it's not licensed in the UK, it's not licensed in America. So it just has creeped into the market. I got sent in Pitamin by a company on Instagram, but it's all over the internet. I even got it on Amazon. I wanted to see if I can buy it in shops too. I could spot the bottles everywhere. Like, it's crazy. It's really, really easy to get your hands on. Does it make you gain weight? Sorry? Does it make you gain weight? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It works. It works. Yeah. Just because it works. It works. I can't believe it's sold so freely. People are buying a epitamin without realising it's an unlicensed medicine and they shouldn't be taking it like this. So how does it get into shops? Have you heard of a epitamin? I know that there's an online trade. Why is it so hard to stop these you know, unlicensed medicines coming in. With illicit lifestyle drugs, there's so, so much of a grey area that it can be really difficult for them to police. Some people who've been involved in kind of distributing cocaine, so cocaine trafficking, have actually moved into the fake medicine trade. If you're caught with a certain amount of cocaine in the UK, you can end up in prison for a very long very time. Very long time, yeah. But if you're caught with something like a lifestyle drug, then you're probably going to get a slap on the wrist. If the regulators know that, you know, this product is unlicensed, it's not meant to come in the UK, why are they allowing it to come in? We asked the MHRA, the organisation who's meant to police this, and they told us. Epitamin is an unauthorised medicine which should not be sold, supplied or advertised without a licence. Taking unauthorised medicines can have serious health consequences. 
The sale of this product is now under investigation. Rappers, rappers, rappers. I would say they are the main cause of why a lot of girls are insecure. He say he don't like a bony, he wants something he can grab. He said he don't like a bony, he wants something he can grab. When I was growing up, it was very skinny. So it's changed from being slim to now being hourglass figure and thick. I thought taking the epitamin was the easy route. When that didn't work out, I decided to get the BBL. I was somewhat disappointed and a bit disgusted with myself because I've put my life at risk for the sake of looking nice in a dress. Social media is extremely toxic. The girls in my generation, they would know what I'm talking about. They make you feel like if you don't look this way, then you're nothing. Last year, I was really obsessed with looking good, having the perfect body, you know? But this year, it's just like, it is what it is, you know? Stop trying to look like the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah.